Alrighty guys, so last year I released a video called the best YouTube light in 2021 and it was all on the Nanlite FS150 which is the current light that I'm using to light myself in the studio in this shot right now. But now, Nanlite has just released the FS60B and this thing is now going to take the crown for the best YouTube light for 2022. How's it going guys? Andrew Ref here from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. So this is the Nanlite FS60B and it is a bi-colored 70 watt light that has a CCT range of 2700 to 5600 Kelvin, a CRI of 96 and a TLCI of 97, which is really, really cool. And it is an all-in-one design. So this is it. That's everything. I mean, apart from a power cable, but that's the whole light. Crazy. And also now comes with this new 45 degree reflector dish that Nanlite launched with the Forza 60C and it makes it obviously the build so much smaller than, you know, dang, two secs. Like this is such a smaller reflector dish than this one. Obviously this one isn't 45 degrees. This one is a little bit of a tighter beam, but it makes the footprint so much smaller than having this old one in there. Plus if you actually have one of these, it still works with this, uh, this series of light. It's clipped in there just like that and you can use it. Plus it is very similar in size to the Forza 60C. It's just slightly longer to account for the power transformer that's actually in the light itself. All right now, if you aren't familiar with the FS range from Nanlite, they've basically designed them to be, uh, I guess like studio lights where you don't really need extra features like 14.8 volt V-Log battery power options or DMX. Plus they also don't come with these uh, protective bags as well. So it makes the price a little bit cheaper. Although Nanlite has actually just released a whole bunch of these bags that you can buy to suit the FS series of lights, which is super difficult. Now the thing that always blows me away about any of Nanlite's 60 series lights is just how small they are. Like that is freaking tiny. And this is 70 watts of power and this is seriously bright like if you if you've never used video lights before you'd assume this would be very very like a, a dim light just because it's so small but this thing has some serious power plus also because it is so small it just doesn't take up much room so if you're shooting or filming in a very small room the light you're using doesn't have to take up a bunch of space and if you pair this with say like a 60 centimeter softbox then again the footprint's only going to come up to like here or something you're going to get a super duper soft source and it's a super duper compact setup. All right, so this is a 60 centimeter parabolic softbox. And then if you basically take this and mount it on the front there. So again, that is the lighting setup. So not very big at all, but check out how good the light is that comes off of this light. If you do a lot of Zoom calls or video conferences and you have a room that's not as well lit, a little bit dim, this is where it's perfect as well. So if we're using the Nanlink app, I can actually just crank this up wirelessly. Super duper cool. And again, now we have a consistent high quality source that makes us look good for our video calls. And we don't have to worry about, you know, like the sun going behind clouds and light changing and whatnot, which have an amazing source that works the whole time. Right now, how we actually control the light is just on the back panel here. So we've got a little LED display, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then it's a really simple interface to use. The Forza 60B interface is a little bit clunky and it doesn't really make as much sense, but they've started updating the, the firmware. Actually, that's one of the other thing. We've got a USB port down here as well. So we can do firmware updates. So like I was saying, if there's bugs and stuff in it that need to be fixed, Nanlite is really good at releasing firmware updates and then basically you can just plug it in here and update it and then you're ready to go. But anyway, back to it. So uh, the interface is really easy. Basically this adjusts whatever setting is highlighted and this basically moves through the menus. But then when you're on just the normal mode, this controls the left side and this controls the right side, which is super duper easy to use. Now one thing I have noticed about the FS60 is that this top and bottom panel, instead of being metal, is actually looks like a plastic, which would definitely help with that little, uh, being a little bit lighter than say, like the Forza 60C, even though it's only slightly bigger, it actually weighs less. Uh, and also as well, they have changed the uh, the mount design on here as well, the little uh, U, I don't know what you call this, yoke. Uh, basically they used to, I, I can just show you. So this is the Forza 60C. So this just has one mount on the side. This is actually a metal mount as well. Whereas this is a plastic one. So again, that's what we're saving on the way. Uh, but basically what they've done is they just put a little uh, tension bolt on this side. You could do that up to really lock it in place. Uh, and then you just have one screw on this side and that will loosen it off. I have noticed it's not as 
solid as uh, the Forza 60B and the Forza 60C mount. Uh, but I guess with this one, like we're saying, because it's built for studio, it's more so like you get it set up and then you crank this down as tight as it would go. And you'd also crank down this side to really lock it in place and then it's not gonna go anywhere. Plus another little handy thing that I've added here is a little uh, umbrella mount. So if you do use umbrellas in the studio, that's something you can also kind of like shove in there uh, and then just crank this down to lock that in place. Right now, if you are new to video lights completely, then all this, you know, watts and CRI and TLC and stuff is gonna go straight over your head. So let me just kind of break this down a little bit easier so you understand. So a 60 or a 70 watt light is really good in like a slightly dim room or a dark room where you don't have to compete with any sort of artificial light or the sun itself. And that's why it's a perfect YouTube light because a lot of people set up their studios where they're basically just like kind of like black out some windows and have a little space that they then dim down to then light with some lights to set up a bit of a, a set, I guess. However, again, if we take this outside and we're trying to compete with direct sunlight, this just isn't enough power. Like if I, if I backlight myself with the sun and put this in front of me, you can see like it's just, it's basically doing nothing. Like this is on, this is off. It's just not enough power. So with just a reflector dish, it's very, very bright, it's very, very concentrated, but it just doesn't look as good. However, if we're gonna put on the 60 centimeter parabolic softbox, this is what that would look like. So you can see that it's cut down the light a lot and I have to actually adjust my camera settings to basically compensate for that. Now it's better than what it was without the light, but this is what I'm saying, it's not like super duper powerful where you can actually really compete with direct sunlight. However, I can bring it in a little bit closer and just have it kind of out of frame here. And then I can adjust my settings and kind of like get pretty close to working with, I guess, like outside light. However, we have to work in a very confined space. So if I want to shoot something a bit bigger or have like a full body shot, this light just isn't gonna cut. It. However, like I was saying before, the huge benefit of something like the FS60B is that it weighs nothing. Like this weighs 925 grams, which is only 100 grams more than the Forza 60. And it's actually nearly 30% lighter than the Forza 60C as well, which is just absolutely crazy. And again, this is it add a modifier in the front, but this is it. You just run the power to the wall and you're ready to go. And because it is so light as well, it means you don't have to invest in really heavy duty stands to actually carry this. Rather than like when you start going to, you know, like 300, 600, <laughs> a vote 1200 and stuff, you need to get dedicated light stands to be able to hold the weight of those lights. Now, even though the FS series is more designed for studio applications where I guess you're gonna mount something and leave it there and not necessarily take it around with you it can still work great as a portable lighting solution as well especially for like people who are actually traveling often basically the whole fs series is amazing for traveling because like i was saying before it's an all-in-one solution so you don't have to worry about packing a ballast or you know transformers and stuff which come with it like this would easily fit in a backpack and if you had two or three of these you could easily make a three-point lighting setup now in terms of fan noise this is with the fan on And then if we turn the fan off, we can still basically get uh, up to 25% output. So this is with the fan off. But honestly, like the fan isn't even that loud, if I'm being really honest. Now I do know a lot of people that are starting to use the FS range of lights instead of using strobes in a studio. So if you are a photographer uh, and you're looking for, I guess like a constant lighting solution, FS series is really good, really compact, all in one. Uh, and like I said, like you got that little umbrella mount if you do use umbrellas, or if you're just wanting to, I guess like build out a, a video kit that you can also use for photography, really good solution here. Now one thing that might confuse you is the mount on the front. So this is Nanlite's FM mount. It's kind of like a mini Bowens mount. But the cool thing is that if you have Bowens mount, actually like accessories, they have this little doodad, which is a FM to our standard Bowens mount adapter. And this just clips on the front like that. And now you have a full size Bowens mount on there, which is really, really cool. So don't stress if you have Bowens mount accessories, you can still adapt them to work with this light as well. The FS60B also has built-in effects as well. So these include CCT loop, intensity loop, flash, pulse, storm, TV, paparazzi, candle fire, bad bulb, firework, explosion, and welding. And I actually use a lot of these a lot of the time as well. Like sometimes they're not so practical, like something like the firework effect. 
that only kind of works on like full RGB lights, like something like the Forza 60C, that's an amazing effect for that because you can actually like project it through a projector and, and make it work. But something like the uh, FS60B, you can do, you know, your, your intensity loops and your CC2 loops and stuff, and even stuff like your candle and your fire, that works really good because you can actually cool this down to 2700 Kelvin and you can get that nice warm fire effect which works really good with this. Plus you can also control this wirelessly through the Nanlink app and also the Nanlink remote as well which is super duper handy like being able to basically set up lights and then basically not have to touch them unless you need to change the angle or kind of like the position of them that is so handy. As for price I cannot believe how ridiculously cheap this is. So the FS60B will go for 179 US dollars, which is insanely affordable for basically anyone considering the output you're getting from this and also the color quality as well. Plus it's a ridiculously small and compact package. Like it is so small. If you, if you haven't got a, like a good video light, like a color accurate video light, Definitely jump on this, definitely get the FS60B, it was your first one you get. And then from here, then you can start stepping up and getting more and more lights and really building out your kit. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this one, then consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you want to find out any more about the new Nanolite FS60B. I'll leave some links down below. Otherwise, stay creative and just be you. Have fun.